Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, just got through watching the interview with uh, Nick Cannon and DJ Culture Vulture. All right, man, check this out. Um, just like I told you guys uh, a while back, that Eminem, he just all talk on records, but he ain't about, you know what I'm saying, shooting a fair one. Now, you know, keep in mind, Eminem had disrespected Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey on records. So Nick Cannon said he flew down to Detroit looking for, uh, you know, Eminem, you know, Marshall. And you know, Marshall wouldn't drop his location. He didn't want the fair one. He didn't want that fade. Typical white boy shit. Talk all that shit. But then, you know what I'm saying? He don't want to put his fist up and shit. Now keep in mind, Eminem was supposed to be training for that movie Southpaw that uh, Jake Gyllenhaal ended up doing because that movie Southpaw was him, for him, but Eminem dropped out of the movie. And I saw Eminem training in boxing. He looked terrible. When I say he looked terrible, he looked terrible. But it was funny watching him train I mean, Eminem boxing skills just looked at, looked at horrible. I mean, it was just, it was just laughable. But you know, nevertheless, though, you know that's Eminem for you. He talk all this shit on record, but then he ain't about, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't about that action. Now I know the Eminem fans gonna be upset when they hear this video because he could do no wrong in they, in they eyes and shit. But he ran from the fade from Nick Cannon. And Nick Cannon went to Detroit, said he went there solo. And Nick Cannon said that Eminem didn't want it, which sounds about right, or should I say, sounds about white. So I was just dying laughing. I got a big kick out of that. You know, Eminem is a straight coward, typical. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to fight his own battles. He got, uh, um, you know, two pennies caping for him. But yeah, I found that hilarious that Eminem ran from the fade. Now keep in mind, he did that with Everlast too. Everlast challenged him to a fight and he didn't want to fight Everlast, you know? I mean, it's like this, man. Um, also, rumor has it, rumor has it, uh, Gucci man offered to handle the beef you know what I'm saying, with Eminem on uh, Nick Cannon's behalf. So shout out to Gucci, man. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. Even though, Gucci, that was fucked up what you did, man, at the Grammys, man. You know, that's fucked up. When our people ask to speak to you, man, you can give our people 30 seconds of your time, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we the ones that was buying your mixtape back in the day, back in 2006. You know what I'm saying, 2006. You know, talking about Gucci Mane and shit. When you was putting out all them mixtapes, we the one that blew you up. So don't forget, man. But you know what I'm saying, shout out to, uh, you know, shout out to Gucci Mane. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz, I'm out.